The names for intervals in music are kind of strange, but once you know what they mean, it all makes sense, so let's take a look. To describe the basic properties of music, meaning notes and intervals, we use letters to label the different pitches, like C, D flat, D, E flat, E, etc. And we use numbers to mark the intervals or scale degrees between the notes, like 1, flat 2, 2, flat 3, 3, and so on. In other videos I talk about how these letters and numbers are used, but in a nutshell the letter names for notes are fixed. So C, for example, is always C in any key, D is always D, etc. While the numbers can shift from one key to the next. So in the key of C, C is 1, D flat is flat 2, D is 2, and so on. But in the key of G, for example, these same numbers are realigned with the notes to highlight the intervals in this key. Where now G is 1, A flat is flat 2, A is 2, etc. And we can see the same intervals in any of the other keys just by rotating the numbers to align with the notes in those keys. So the letters are fixed while the numbers are variable, and this is basically how this alphanumeric system of music labels works. But on top of these symbols, musicians also use other terms to reference the scale degrees, like tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, submediant, subtonic, and leading tone. And though these terms can seem complicated or confusing, like I say, they're not when you know what they mean. So here's a quick explanation. Tonic refers to the keynote or the first scale degree. It's another name for interval one, which is the tonal center of the key. It's the tonic or tonal center. Supertonic refers to scale degree two. In Latin, super means above, and interval two is a whole step above the tonic, so it's the supertonic. Dominant refers to scale degree five, and it's called dominant because it's next in importance to interval one or the tonic. Mediant is another name for scale degree three. The term mediant is Latin for in the middle, and this scale degree is midway between the tonic and the dominant. So that's why it's called the mediant. The subdominant is interval four, and in Latin, sub means below, and scale degree four is the same distance below the tonic as the dominant is above the tonic, and it's also a whole step below the dominant, hence the name subdominant. The submediant, or interval six, is so-called because it's midway, or the mediant, between the tonic and the subdominant, so it's the submediant. The subtonic is another name for interval flat seven, which is a whole step below the tonic, so it's the subtonic, below the tonic. And finally, the leading tone refers to scale degree seven, which is the note that resolves or leads to the note above, which is the tonic, or the tonal center, interval one. So that's what all of these terms mean in music, and because all of the keys are symmetrical, you can align the notes with the scale degrees, or these interval names, in all of the keys, and this vocabulary is consistent from one key to the next.